Welcome everyone to Jonas with Just Commentary. So we're gonna react to a video, and this one is from CNN. This one is the miraculous story of the Thai cave rescue. Of course, we're gonna check out this video. Thank you so very much for requesting, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to Jonas with Just Commentary. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Most likely, this one will also be in English, um, because it's from CNN. I'm hoping that they would have either the subtitle or the Thai words. So let's just see what's gonna be. Of course, thank you so very much. Let's go ahead. And of course, this is an opportunity to learn more. I'm um, especially for my English Has fans. Been a cave rescue quite like this one. No, I don't think they are. military allied with an international team of volunteers searching until the lost boys were found and daringly rescued in remote mountains in northern Thailand. We're still piecing the story together in all its inspiring heroic detail. So wow. much of the drama happened in the dark, out of sight. But it begins with a haunting image in silhouette. The bicycle. bikes chained up in a row at the cave entrance. Football boots, shin pads left behind. Wow. No sign of their owners. The date, Saturday, June 23rd. So this is a documentary sort of. missing party, what we can now refer to as the miraculously lucky 13, the wild boars football wild team plus their young coach. They went missing after match practice. They'd explored this particular cave before but were apparently trapped by a sudden monsoon flood. Wow. Water and more water. So the problem was mainly the water. The most challenging thing we have to fight is nature. We not any obstacle in the cave. We've never done anything like this before. In came the piping and the pumps. Yeah. And time understood that they had to get so much pumps to get the water out and then they had to flood a nearby village field. Who they the farmers gave permission and were very happy that they could actually do it. They allowed them to do it. Where so. were the boys? Could they be reached in time? The place is known as the big cave for a reason. It's Almost big. seven miles of limestone tunnels and recesses, wow. nooks and crannies. And these are their parents Anxious and their families. Anxious relatives could only wait and offer prayers. Wow. I, I cannot expect that how wrong, but every minute is uh, important. Yeah, that's very so true. Pam Luang was mapped by French divers in the 1980s. It's among the longest in Thailand. But it's the first few miles of the that concern us here. The most they went really far in. By this man, Vern Unsworth. British caver who has a home in the area. His immediate advice was call in British experts. We got the Thai authorities to to understand that you know they needed expert divers out here. Wow. Um, this story will you know, be my lifetime. It's specialist Nilvis. You know, it's like diving with you can't see three inches in front of your face and. Um, they needed world-class divers, and that's what we got. Wow. Rick Stanton on the left, a retired fireman from wow. Coventry, and his diving partner, John Bollenthon, an IT consultant from Bristol. In cave diving, they're pretty much as good as it gets. <laughs> the wow. Of the Thai Command Center, that's amazing. They blown out they're really green. specialists. On the ground, they almost passed unnoticed. Just two guys in dark shorts, t-shirts, and Wellington boots. The British divers made their first exploratory dive on oh Wednesday, June 27th. Yo, this is such a miraculous documentary. The challenge was immediately obvious. Water. Water the colour of cold coffee, almost no visibility. Swimming against a torrent of water, the engorged oh, wow. stream that runs through the cave. The divers were able to lay down a crucial guide rope. And on the seventh day of diving, on Monday, July the 2nd, they found the boys perched on a rocky ledge and were met by an unforgettable chorus of little voices. How, how many of wow. you? 13. Brilliant. What day is it? They are so brave. Monday. Monday. You have been here. 10 days. I wonder if they knew they were counting, like if they were counting, but then again they were not, because being in darkness you are not sure what time of the day it is, when you might be thinking it's like 2 o'clock, it's almost like a 7 o'clock, so they really were not, I don't think they knew how long they were in there at all. We, we are happy too. Okay. 
I love to hear them see English. Thank you so much. England, UK. Oh, indeed, a nice surprise. England is <laughs> home to Manchester United and Arsenal, some of their favorite wow, teams. Wow, I want to cry again. This video is just amazing. The euphoria among relatives outside was immediate. The British team, some eight British divers in all, were warmly embraced. Hugs all around. They brought hope. Well, this thing is just... <laughs> you're just gonna... You're just gonna keep coming. The boys were joined on their ledge by Navy SEALs, given food and emergency foil blankets and medicine. Yeah, you guys explained to me the foil blankets wrote letters that were and, and how, how it would, their coach had helped keep, how their it would, um, up during their ordeal keep people warm. In their tiny refuge, less than half the size of a tennis court. Coach Ake, as they call him, was sat at the back. He'd been a Buddhist monk in his youth and taught them to meditate to pass the time. And you see, calm at the back, he did not push and like he he still still remain calm even when he saw them struck. one of the Thai divers summoned Hunan lost consciousness as he was replacing oxygen tanks yeah. and died. He was thirty eight, retired Thai Navy SEAL. He had volunteered to join the rescue effort just five days earlier. His death changed the mood in the cave. Now there was a growing urgency about a rescue. We know it happened over three successive days, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, July 8th, 9th and 10th. The Thai Navy SEALs have released footage of it. The boys carried out on so-called scared military stretches, wow. wrapped in foil for the last mile or so. To we keep them the warm. Place here and there. Wow. Each boy regularly checked on the way out by doctors. But the most dramatic and daring part of the rescue happened off camera oh my in the submerged part of the cave system. These divers, you know, they they went in on three consecutive days. That's that's tough. You God know, bless these people. God bless these people. This is some point. strength, bravery you know, and commitment. <laughs> but superhuman. We know the boys were sedated in some way. An Australian cave diver, Dr. Richard Harris, was part of the team. He's an anaesthetist. You have to understand, the, some of these kids couldn't swim, and they've been put into cold, cold water, and you know, with wet suits on, f full face mask. You know, alien to them. Yeah, they so panic and move. The only way. Yeah, are you the most important thing was to have a, a full face mask, which we acquired on site with positive pressure to enable them to breathe and to relax them enough to not feel any anxiety during the process. It would make sense. It seems then that the boys were somehow escorted out one by one by pairs of divers before being put into stretchers. The UK, Australia, Denmark. The divers list inside wow. the cave indicated that they came from all over the world. But the Yo, the world united for a common goal. It's possible. Begin. Another pair of British divers, Chris Jewell on the left and Jason Mallison, were certainly involved in escorting the boys out. I tell you, the world unite for common goal, it's possible. And Jason Mallison came out after Rick and John, and our role was to help transport the boys underwater through the cave to bring them out. Wow. And not forgetting the anonymous quartet of Thai <laughs> Navy SEALs who kept the boys yeah, company on the left This is such, days. this is, we, we can laugh and we can smile now. Boys. Just to get any of them out alive would, would have been a miracle. But to get 13 out, out. of 13. That is blessings. Won't happen again, it's the biggest miracle ever. This is blessings. And the parents is what, After the, rescue, the parents. The overwhelming relief and gratitude on the streets. You could see it in their faces. Something wonderful had happened. A salute for an ambulance taking one of the boys to hospital. This woman didn't have to say anything to let us know how she felt. Her nephew had been saved. <laughs> I can just imagine the parents, the family, the grateful. I, there's such gratitude in this. There is such gratitude in this. This is not explainable. Imagine your, your child. This is your child who you raised and to just. 
disappear and to see that persons from all over the world came just to help and bring them out. I tell you. His nickname is Tatoon. In his letter to his parents, he urged them not to worry and to get ready his favorite fried chicken. <laughs> whose father was simply drained by the ordeal. Oh my god, this is just amazing. I can then tell you. Oh. I tell you, I knew it. Wow. <laughs> Yo, this is an amazing video. Thank you for requesting this video. We now keenly await to hear the boys' version of events and coach Ake's Nick Glass, CNN. Wow, guys. This is amazing. And, found and safely rescued. That is a lovely video. I love this one. The wild boar. Number 13 is a lucky number after all. That is just blessings after upon blessings. And as I was saying, the most concerning thing I had was the, 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 the anxiety of their parents. Like, some, someone told me on Facebook, Thai families don't have a lot of, like, there are some families with a few kids, one kid. You know, they don't, they, 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 they cherish their children because they know that the children is the one who will help them in the future the children is the one who will develop talent like it's almost like an, I don't even know how to explain it and it's as much as I, I knew that the children were so anxious to get home the parents were overwhelmingly anxious there's a saying in my country you can feed a parent to a child the child will not know but you cannot feed a child to a parent the parent has something in them. I don't, it just it's because one human being is created, it's taken from two different persons to make one person, right? And that these two persons, they're connected to that one person. And it's more difficult for them to let go than for this one to let go. So I think it was an awesome situation that this happened and then they were rescued. It's a testimony. It's a testimony when things like this happen and then this good news come out, this good results. It's a testimony and I think it, at the end of the day, good things will come out from it even longer. Someone explained to me that the run, the run by body slam, which we did last year, December, so much funds was, were given to the hospital. And look at that, when these funds were given, it was not given with the notice and notes or the mentality that such a thing would happen but it's a good thing that they supplied them with equipment and they supplied them with funds that's why I told you at the time remember when they were doing the run I told you you never know donating might be to save your own life you, you remember when I said that? I said people around the world should donate because it's more than just the Thai people you see how people from around the world have to come to Thailand to rescue these boys that's why I say we cannot be selfish thinking we are doing something one place and will impact us alone this is a world and we are closer than we think especially with technology we are closer than we think so that's why i say when you see they having things like this race this donation this fundraising for hospitals and stuff like that contribute you do not know where you will end up so that is just a testimony of the fact that we need to unite in this world and need to realize that we need to take care of each other because we don't know where we'll end up of course thank you for requesting this video don't forget to like us on facebook follow us on twitter we're getting closer to 100,000 subscribers and it's because of you awesome fans and subscribers thank you so very much bye guys